Here's some more unfair and unbalanced bullshit from a Zionist tool. Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer, in for Britt Hume. Prospects for Iraq's stability, a challenging road ahead. That is the title of a new national intelligence estimate on Iraq. Months in the making, the collaborative intelligence community assessment describes problems ranging from a lack of Iraqi leadership to widespread and multi-layered violence. Correspondent Catherine Herridge examines what's in the report and what it means for a president trying to turn the situation around. According to the NIE, the National Intelligence Estimate, the term civil war does not apply in Iraq because the violence is more widespread and more complex than simply the Sunni and Shia conflict. An unclassified version of the 90-page document, which represents the intelligence community's best assessment of the Iraq crisis, said the layers of violence include extensive Shia on Shia violence, Al-Qaeda and Sunni insurgent attacks on coalition forces, and widespread criminally motivated violence. In a briefing at the White House, the National Security Advisor argued it was best to focus on strategy. The description in the NIE of the situation on the ground and the variety of these challenges is real. And we agree with that. The issue of the level, the issue of the label is one we're going to go back and forth on. What the president's job is, in view of that situation on the ground, to develop a policy and a strategy that has the prospect of success. That's what the policy challenge, challenge is, and that's what we think we've done. The situation in Iraq is so volatile, especially in Baghdad, where car bombs are a daily occurrence, that the NIE only covers the next 12 to 18 months, a shorter period than previous estimates. The intelligence that was being developed over several months for the NIE informed the president's decision to push for an additional 21,000 U.S. troops. It's going to be hard, and the president made it very clear it's going to be hard, and there's no assurance for a success. The case the president has made is he's looked at all the alternatives, and the alternatives have little, if any, prospect for secure success, whether it's so slow failure, as I talked about, or fast failure. While the NIE does not predict the impact of more boots on the ground, it does suggest that troop reductions could be catastrophic. 